Flame tests work because some substances, when introduced into a flame, will cause that flame to change color. The general procedure for a flame test is to take a piece of wire, dip it into solution, and then hold that wire into the flame. And then whether or not the flame changes color will tell you something about the presence or absence of the substance you're testing for. The first step in a flame test is to take your metal wire and rinse it with distilled water to make sure that any contaminants have been removed. You should then heat the wire in a Bunsen burner flame, and you want to continue heating until the flame color stabilizes. And this may take a moment. Once the flame color stabilizes, remove the wire from the flame and allow it to cool. And this will almost certainly take longer than you expect it to. Once the wire is cooled, you should dip it into the sample you want to test and make sure that a visible droplet of the solution is adhering to the tip of the wire. And that sizzling sound means that I didn't wait long enough for the wire to cool. You then place the tip of the wire into the flame and observe the color. You should be able to observe for this sample that the flame is a much brighter yellow than it was before the solution was added. Prior to adding this solution, the flame color had stabilized to an orange, and now it's yellow. Once you've finished testing your sample, you should rinse your wire with distilled water, and then hold the wire into the flame to make sure that the color stabilizes again before going on to test your next sample. 